Damascus, Syria, June 11, 2000. Crowds filled the city's streets. President Hafez al-Assad, also known as the Lion of Damascus, has just died. The eyes of the world are upon a gawky young man, devoid of charisma, Bashar al-Assad, the emblem of a nation in mourning. At 34, he resembles his father at the same age, the same stature, with the same receding hairline and pencil-thin mustache. Bashar is the son Hafez chose as his successor. He is undoubtedly brooding over the mantle he must now assume. His father had made himself a force to be reckoned with in the Middle East. Twice, Hafez failed to defeat his number one enemy, Israel. However, his efforts to stoke neighboring Lebanon's dreadful 15-year civil war succeeded. Upon his death in 2000, Lebanon was virtually a Syrian protectorate. Hafez ruled his own country with an iron hand. Syria was one of the world's most secretive and repressive dictatorships, with the fearsome Mukhabarat police constantly spying on its citizens. The lion's body was flown to Kardaha, the village of his birth for burial. At the same time, Bashar prepared for leadership. He was the only candidate in the presidential elections. He knew he had feet of clay. His late brother Bassel had been the crown prince, groomed for the succession. Born in 1965, Bashar was the third of Hafez's five children and the only one of his four sons who did not choose a military career. He studied medicine instead. In 2009, in an interview on French TV, he spoke of his calling. His statements sound incongruous today. Uh, you work for, for the uh, health of uh, the human. So I think that's why it's, it's, it's known as a humanitarian uh, job. And you have to be very precise. Anything wrong you do, any mistake you do, you'll affect the health of a human. Anything wrong you do in any other sector, it's like any other mistake. You do a mistake, you can correct it. But in this regard, in this sector, it's something uh, different. That's why uh, it is uh, vocation. 